Hey everybody, how's it going? Superfane here, and welcome back to our Winter Tooth campaign with Throg. We're doing great. Uh, we just crushed some of the Skull Takers up here, so and then we we let the AI make their moves for the turn. So I doubt they're going to want to uh, get peace with us, but let's just see if they're willing to accept that they are. Okay, you know this is actually um, this is kind of good, and it's still high. Can we demand money? 5,000, okay. A little too rich for them. And the reason I'm doing this is because I really, okay, so that's high. So let's try 1,500. Uh, what I don't want is for the Skull Takers to like spawn another stack and come up here into the Hellspire Mountains and uh, start taking our territory up here. We need we need to kind of like settle these and get some buildings going and we need to take care of Cracker Jack. And I'd kind of like to get that all done and handled about the time Chaos shows up because then we could just crush Chaos right here as they uh, as they come in. All right, let's see if they'll... No, they didn't like that one. Okay, let's try again. Peace Treaty. Non-aggression pack. Um... Yeah, we'll do military axis. Oh, let's just try 1,200. They should take that. Okay, good. So we don't have to worry about them anymore. Uh, Mid and Lin actually likes us, even though we were very hostile to them earlier in the campaign. Kislev, look at this. They got 15 settlements. And who's number one? It's dwarves, right? I bet you it's dwarves. We can't see. It's not us. We're ranked 10. All right. Undiscovered factions. So, um, now the reason I recruited these guys is so that we could deploy them and scout, but because um, I was worried about the incoming Skull Taker mobs. But now that we're not at war with the Skull Takers, I'm not sure that we really need to do that. So let's just kind of um, move these guys off in each direction. And let's take these guys too. And we'll keep them kind of local. Uh, we'll put one over here. And we'll put the other one over here. What do these guys do when you deploy them? I think they increase growth. Okay, yep, growth and growth. Okay, we'll go over here. We got to recruit some units to get back up to uh, what we were a moment ago. And it's tempting. Tempting. Let's see. Doomkeep, Longship. Okay, so these are all down here. It's tempting to start uh, resettling this stuff, you know, get a lord and just one lord and have them just start reclaiming stuff. Who are we at war with? Uh, Kislev and Kraka Drak. That's it, huh? So now's kind of a good time to do that. But I want to see what Kraka Drak is up to. I don't want to get caught unawares by them. And... So you got a weak little garrison over here. Throg's got a bunch of marauders. Oh, let's see. All right, so we could raise Prague. And what do we get here? A specialist chaos sorcerer. Hmm. A mighty lord of change. Yeah, that's pretty good too, huh? But I, I think we're going to go full hound, at least for now. Yeah. So the question is, are we going to go ahead and sack Prague again? Or raise it? Or are we going to go over here and hit Volksgrad? And the other concern is, where and what are the dwarves doing? Like, can we cruise through here and surprise them? Because that would be kind of good, wouldn't it? Um, we could wipe out those dwarves. Let's see. Tough choice. Tough choice. Do we want to um, finish raising these? I don't know if Throg's army by itself is strong enough to take this down. Uh, we're going to suffer a lot of casualties when we get inside the keep. And, uh, quite frankly, the Marauder Horsemen are better for open field battles than they are for siege battles. So, let's see. 
Okay. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get the sure thing. We're going to go ahead. We're going to sack or we're going to raise Prague. Maybe we'll sack it. It depends on how much money we get. Okay. And so let's get these guys back in here. Okay. And you notice that as we put these guys in, our upkeep changes. Okay. So we know we can do this pretty well. Um, I'm tempted to just auto resolve it. Yeah, let's go ahead. We'll just auto resolve because we, we know we're going to win, right? Okay, 700, uh, 1600. We're going to raise it for the hound. Okay. And what do we got here? Throg is almost max level. Um, Primordial Masters. Frostworm units. <sighs> Pretty good. Okay, we could get um, better recruits, but I don't really know how much we need that. Recruitment costs. Uh, income from sacking. Yeah, I think we want income from sacking. That, that's where we get all of our money. Okay, and we're just going to keep going with the uh, the thick skin on that guy there. And I guess we can go into a raiding stance, but it's not going to do anything for us, right? Okay, so next on the list is Volksgrad. And we got to do something about these dwarves. Okay, now over here, um, let's get out of the town. Why are, we, why are we in the town? Let's go ahead and loot, raid. So it'll be 81, 101. So we're going to get a rebellion next turn, and we can go crush it. Good. That'll get us some money, right? There's the rebellion. Okay, and... Yeah, let's go ahead, get in here. Oh, I guess we'll we'll throw this guy in there too, right? Might as well. Okay, look at that. We got a war mammoth. Ooh, they got lots of knights. Oh, but then we got all this stuff too. Okay, th this is not going to be interesting. We'll just auto resolve it. It will not be interesting to really fight this. And let's see. Let's go ahead and sacrifice. We'll take the money. Okay. We got a banner, immune to psychology, plus five armor and melee defense. So maybe it, like the Marauder Champions or the Marauder Chosen or whatever they're called. Um, we're already in a rating stance, and we've used up too much movement. So let's see, are we going to get another rebellion? We are. So do we want to move a couple of these guys out and deploy them? Let's keep moving this guy. I want to. I want to figure out what the dwarves are doing. Okay. Well, let's see. Okay, no dwarves yet. No dwarves yet. And what would be easier to resettle? Sarl Encampment, Bay of Blades, and the Tower. These ones are all down here. So what's this? Okay, so Aceling's Conclave is actually a good thing to... So, oh God, this stuff is all spread out. It's like the Badlands with mountains in the middle of it. Um... Our upkeep is kind of really hurt with these guys up here. So let's see. What is this? This is a Femir. And this is a Femir. And this is a Femir, right? Can you get all the way over to here? You can. Can't deploy. Can't deploy. Oh, okay. Well, that knocked the upkeep down by just a tiny amount. So that was kind of worth it. Kind of worth it. Okay, and now Throggy. Throggy, Throggy, Throggy. Let's see. 
We'll go halfway. We'll um we'll take a moment to replenish. Kind of need to. Okay. So we got another rebellion over here with Inger. Okay, and let's go ahead and drop all these guys back in. Okay, and this time we don't get the garrison. No garrison, huh? So what do they got? Hmm, so do we want to fight this or no? It's these Chaos Knights that I'm worried about. All right, let's fight it. So they got the Chaos Spawn. That thing is a problem. And they got the Hell Cannon, another problem. We'll go ahead and we'll gamble. Yeah, ouch. Okay, so the Chaos Knights are over here. So what do we have that can take out the Knights? And of course we got our Mana Core. All right, I think we're gonna take these two. What's it cost to cast this? Five? We'll direct damage on the Knights with both of them. And I don't think our Frost Wolves, Skin Wolves, and they're anti-large and they got regeneration. Are they going to win against the Chaos Knights with lances? I don't know the answer. Okay, and then of course we got the Mammoth here. Uh, maybe we'll charge the Mammoth into the Knights, but I don't know. Lances? Lances kind of sound like they win against the Mammoth, right? And yeah, we'll set this guy up here like this. And... Well, it is Inger, so he'll knock down their melee attack, and he'll give everybody melee defense. Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. This is going to be our squad that kills the knights. Okay, apparently we got to move everything forward. They're not coming to us. Okay. Ooh, almost got a bullseye there. So we need to use the mana core to kill the hell cannon, I guess. They are firing at the mana core. There's their chaos spawn. Maybe we'll charge uh, into the Marauder Horseman with throwing axes first. So far, everything's missed. And there we go, lots of damage to the mana core now. Okay, let's get up in the air again. Okay, now we'll get everything running. Okay, so we got our, uh, we got them turned around and focused on the uh, mana core. All right, so let's see. And it looks like the Hell Cannon's turning around too. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay. All right, uh, the rest of you guys, you need to get up here as quickly as you can. Thank you very much. Is our mana core taking damage? It's not. Not right now, anyways. Okay, we're gonna get down here so we can set up to get ready to attack the the Doom Cannon. Hell Cannon! Alright, here we go. Let's get on the Hell Cannon with that. And let's see. Knights. Knights. Okay, here it comes. 
Boom, you can't move, you can't charge. They're all screwed. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we need to get out of here with the uh, the hell cannon if we can. And where's our fire guy? Here he is. Nope, you're right here. Yeah, we doing up here. We're winning. We're doing good. Okay. So we got chosen with great weapons. And we're just going to keep spamming the death spells on these guys. Okay. Let's get back. Oh, actually, let's go kill Val Vashnar. Okay, what do we got here? Okay, how we doing? Where's our fire guy? He's right here. Go fight the hell cannon. And you also fight the Hell Cannon. Okay, we're uh, we're starting to take some more damage up here. These are the knights. The knights are back. Okay. Okay, Hell Cannon's going down. Everything over here is dying. Okay, get this stuff. We're gonna lose one of these uh, Skin Wolf units. They're gonna flee. Okay, we're getting there. Doing okay. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, the chosen are shaken. We're starting to win now. Okay, good. All right, so we need a, a few more uh, stronger uh, frontline units for Anger. We need some of the uh, Marauder Champions. I think they're called Marauder Champions. They got high armor. Uh, so we really need to get some of those. Uh, the Berserkers are really for like flanking and moving through gaps and hitting rear and flank charges. Not really frontline guys. Okay, Treasury. Okay, let's go ahead and crush these guys the rest of the way. Uh, we'll just auto-resolve. Okay, so here's our this is our economy generator right here. And I think this time, let's see, what's our public order? I think this time we're going to force march. Oh, we can't make it all the way inside? No? All right. Uh, we need to spend a little bit of time replenishing. And what were we doing over here? We were going to get this. Yes. Increased experience per turn. Okay, smoke and mirrors. 6% speed map wide. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, let's get the speed, right? Let's just do that for now. Kindle Flame, plus 12 weakness to fire damage, map wide, armor piercing damage. Uh, we want this one. Uh, increased weapon damage, increased missile damage, and I think also grants flaming attacks, right? Magical attacks. Yeah, they become magical attacks. That's, uh, that's really good. We want that. What's this cost? 6,600. Can't afford it. Too expensive. Can't really afford that either. We gotta sack something. Now... Okay, here we go. Let's go sack uh, Volksgrad. Um, yeah, we'll auto this. Not very, not very exciting to fight these little garrisons, okay? Sack it for 3k. And get a bound spell. And let's see. Move up to here. And we'll go into a raiding camp. And on the next turn, we'll probably raise it for the hound. 
and we have to kind of start thinking about um, what do we want to do with Throg? Do we want to come up here and try to settle these and then go deal with the dwarves? I don't know. Or do we want to like head back west and see if we can wipe out Kislev and meet up over here? It's uh, it's really tough to say, isn't it? In it, and this guy, we already can move him. Okay. I don't want to do anything against the dwarves until I know what the dwarves are doing, basically. Um, okay, this is Doomkeep and the Sarl Encampment. So maybe it's worth our our time and money. I was gonna say maybe recruit somebody and populate Doomkeep. And just start getting these things uh, taken because then we can get these which increase our rating from income and then sacking faction wide in the first level it needs to be level two to get the sacking bonus and that requires a level two um, for uh, I don't know Uh, we could save a little upkeep if we dump these guys. Okay, he can't move any further. So, it decreased our upkeep by a tiny bit. Not much. Alright. Okay, dwarves and Kislev heroes. That is usually a good sign that the armies themselves are not far behind. So let's see. Alright, let's take this guy and we'll uh, we'll burn about half of his movement. Just to kind of see what else we got. I don't see any armies. And what's the chance to assassinate here? 33, it's pretty bad. And 33 also. So, um... I think we're okay. I think we're okay to sack this. We're going to encircle. And we'll go ahead and we'll uh, drop this guy back in here. So he can get the experience for participation. His participation award. Okay, we'll auto-resolve it again. And we're going to raise it for the hound. Ooh. Poison attacks. For all skin wolf, Norskin ice wolves, and Norskin warhounds. In the army. Oh, that's pretty good. Alright, I think that's pretty good. Okay, we'll go back into the uh, increased armor here. And we can't move anything. So, what we got to figure out what we're going to do next is if we're going to come back this way. Or if we're going to cruise up here into dwarf territory. And I don't know. I don't think they have walls in any of these settlements. If they did, the garrisons would be bigger. So we might be able to um, cruise in here and sack these. Possibly. Oh, and I, I just noticed there's an extra icon right here that indicates which um, which settlements the Norskins can, um, can settle. Okay. Let's let's go ahead and recruit a lord. We're gonna do it. Um, I guess maybe we want somebody who's got like public order bonus. Yeah, we'll get this guy. And on the next turn, we'll come down here and we'll get Doomkeep. I think uh, we can move with him. What do we want to do? What's our public order look like? Plus eleven. Minus 22. Oh, look at this upkeep. 33,000. 30, Ouch. So, these are the these are the guys that make better frontline troops. And they are extremely expensive. Horribly expensive. Oh boy. Um, let's 
let's go ahead and yeah god i want them but they're so expensive let's wait and see how things pan out with throg right before we go and do that um yeah what we need to do is we need to kind of like um let's see Doomkeep, Longship Graveyard, and Ice Drake Fjord. What we need to do, what I think would be best, is if we kind of slowly start resettling these right here, this province, and move this guy down with um, a slightly better army, and then we can start um, instigating attacks across the um, the shore here, the, the waterway, and attacking Kislev. And then we can close in maybe on this side with Kislev, because the, the dwarves seem to be kind of ignoring us. So maybe we can come back this way with Throg and pound our way through Kislev, raid in the uh, Empire a little bit, and meet back up over here. And we'll get enough money doing that to raise another army that can maybe go deal with the dwarves. Or we could deal with the dwarves naturally as we start to expand this way. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to start heading west, uh, southwest with Throg. And we're going to start um, settling south and then moving Inger with his war mammoth down south. Okay. That sounds good to me. I don't know if the campaign is going to like let us do that. You know, so, some event could occur that prevents us from uh, achieving those plans. So we'll just see how it goes, right? Oh, Kislev just uh, resettled Fort Ostros. Um, okay. We're not really doing any recruiting, but w if we do any recruiting, it'll probably be with Marauders, because it'll be Inger, so we're going to go ahead and get the, uh, the Marauder bonus there. Okay. Um, let's do Razor Claws. Okay, so how strong is Kislev over here? What do they got? Let's, uh... Let's see, Throg in Forced March can move like all the way up to here. And this guy can't move quite that far. So we'll move to about here. Just so we can see, like, what are we marching into? Uh, we didn't really get to see very much, did we? So let's march the rest of the way. Let's go into a deployment stance. And Throg needs 25%. There's really nowhere up here where it like gets you a good um, a good ambush chance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna move to here a little bit further. Okay, that should be good. And we're gonna go into an ambush stance. Um, there's a very good chance that they're gonna see us, but in the off chance that they don't see us, maybe they'll come this way and try to like resettle Prague, and then we can kill them. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? And let's see here. Uh, we'll go ahead and give this guy the Grayling uh, Werekin thingy. Don't really need the other ones, right? And what about here? I don't understand what happens if you give these guys banners. Do they show up in the Lord's army? Uh, let's try it. This is the banner of the Black Iron Reavers. So let's see if this banner shows up in Throg's army. I don't think it will, but I don't know. And no, none of those are really, uh, really any good. Okay, so that's what we're doing with Throg this turn. Uh, and we better hope that it works out in our favor because we uh, we don't have a whole lot of turns of uh, treasury and upkeep bonus. Let's see. What? How do I turn this off? I don't want to see it anymore. Okay, there. <laughs> All right. It, it got stuck on somehow. Okay. Um, minus 23 rating. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's not forget. Ooh, boy, it's gonna be expensive. Expensive. Ouch. 
Ouch, okay. What are we gonna build? Further ouch. More ouch. Um, let's see. Construction cost. Yeah, that's what we want. We want more construction cost. Reduction if we can get it. We can't. And 5% campaign movement range. Um, is that something we can give this guy? We don't really need that in here. Movement range, 5%. Income from all buildings might be good for him since he's kind of just camping out here. But he's always raiding, so it's always hurting it. Um, all right, you know, we'll go ahead and we'll give him back the uh, the construction cost reduction. Okay. All right, and what are we going to get? What is our next research? Income from sacking. Okay, good. Do any of these affect Kisla, Britonia, Tilia, Dwarves, Empire Vampire Counts? It's right in the name, right? Bloodfield hunger. So that could be good, but I think uh, do we have anything that affects trolls? Okay, this one already affects trolls. Hmm. And I wonder if Kraka Drac counts as dwarves. An income from all buildings, 50% faction-wide. Oh, but we have to have captured, what's it called? Karazza, correct. <laughs> God, that's so far away. Oh, my goodness. Um, now, do you just need the settlement to unlock it and get the research going? Or do you have to, like, maintain hold of that settlement for the bonus to apply? That, I don't know. There, let's go ahead and build this now. All right. Because if we were to trek all the way down there and try to take Karaza Karak, and that's the dwarf capital, so it's going to have a very strong garrison. It'll be a hard battle. Um, it's going to have iron breakers and long beards. Yeah. Okay, so very similar to the last one, but uh, slightly more large units, huh? And I guess Throg is still in an ambush stance. He didn't get discovered, so that's good. Uh, let's go ahead and wipe these guys out. And I think what we're doing, we're just going to auto-resolve. Uh, units replenish money. And we'll go back over here in the reinforcement range and raid some more. Okay, Doom Keep. Now, can we cruise through here? We can. And Ice Drake Fjord. Now, we need to go this way. All right, so we want to go this way with him. And did we forget to move this guy for a turn? We may have. Let's see. We want to see what the dwarves are doing. How strong are they? Do we have... Um, okay, let's give this guy like campaign sight and campaign movement if we can. We cannot. Fine. Okay, and let's see. Throg. He cannot get there all by himself this turn, so... So let's just cruise forward just a little bit. You know, they got anything else over here we need to worry about? Yes, there we go, okay. So in a force march, the farthest he can move is to here. All right, so let's see. These don't really improve our chances, do they? All right, we got to hope that Throg gets lucky and doesn't get discovered, right? And if he gets discovered, then um, we got our work cut out for us. 
And this is a capital, but it's got no garrison yet. So... And, oh, they if they don't discover us, they might settle Joyshink on the next turn. And then this army would be depleted. And then we could take this and then just straight across take that. Oh, that would be perfect. It just all hinges on if Thra gets discovered or not, right? And we're going to get some more income up here. Grainling Moot. All right, let's... Uh, what do we want? So we got this last time, so we're all done down there. Fight or die. Maybe we want to cruise this way. Um, but Marauder Champions, I think we're going to be using those. What do we need up here? Oh, these are these are locked. Okay, this was it was one or the others, and we picked this. So he has uh, poison attacks and regeneration, and increased armor, which is good. So. Bonus versus large for Marauder Spearman. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the stronger champions for him because I think he will be using them. And we'll go ahead and go with a faster movement on the campaign map. And now this is a pendulum, right? A wind. A hex and a hex. We're going to get the enfeebling foe. That's really good. And burning head. Armor piercing damage, main defense. So if we cast this fire cloak on uh, Inger on the mammoth, it'll be much tougher defense wise. So I like that. Whoop, oh, oh, we can recruit another sorcerer. So maybe we want to do that. Yeah, okay, let's see. Choleric. Yeah, let's get another uh, Bright Wizard. Look at him, he's a, he's a wolf. Or is he just wearing a helmet? It's hard to tell. Um, we're going to go ahead and get this guy. He's got a uh, chance of defending himself. So that is good. And have we done all of our movement? Okay, we have. We got some research. We can start up again. Let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and do this and take five turns, and then we'll get the other monster hunts, and we'll see what else we get. Now, Norska has been out for, what, about two weeks? And I know lots of people have covered it, and some people have um, who are not covering it for YouTube and whatever else. Oh, good. They settled. Ooh, that's perfect. Um have already finished their Norska campaigns and they know how everything plays out. I haven't. This is my only Norska campaign. I'm not playing any other Norska campaigns. I, I haven't really been watching other people's campaigns because I'm just busy with my own channel and work and all that kind of stuff. So I really am playing this uh, mostly blind. I don't know what's going on and I don't really know what to expect. So, okay. So there's crack. Oh boy. Look at this. That's a lot of dwarves. And they got blasting charges. Okay. That's going to be tough. You know, I don't want to be getting lightning strike. I'd like to play this campaign without it. But we may need to put a point into it um, just to pick apart these dwarf stacks. I don't know. Okay, so let's see here. What do we got? Oh, we're going to rip this apart. This is going to be so awesome. All right. Throg, the sneaky troll. Surprise them. Perfect. Uh, what do they got? I guess the Empire Knight, or the Outright, no, Empire Knights and the Mortar is the most dangerous thing we got to worry about here. And then they got this pesky guy. We wouldn't want him to wound Throg or anything like that, right? Can we, uh, can't afford it. Ouch, we're broke. Okay, we're broke. We're broke, we're broke, we're broke. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll fight this really quick. We'll go ahead and we'll fight it. And the Outriders are fast, if I remember correctly. I don't know if we can catch them. We might be able to catch them with Armor Rider Horsemen, like in a melee fight. I don't think we want to um, stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and trade missiles. I think they'll outfire us. Okay, good. So, let's see. What are we going to do? And we don't know where they're at. 
can't see them yet. So let's uh, let's go half and half. And we'll put... These don't have Vanguard? These ones do, okay. And I don't know about these uh, these wolf guys. Okay, these are all of our infantry units. We got a couple spear units. Um, we'll just put them over here. Our trusty mammoth. We got our shaman sorcerer. Okay. And let's go say hello to our new friends. All right, so let's see. Where are the knights? These are the knights. Okay, so the knights are over here. And these are outriders and those are outriders. Okay. Um, hmm. And they kind of did this little stuff over there. So let's see. I was expecting these guys to be more on the flanks. So they definitely surprised me. Okay. Okay, let's go fire on these guys here. Ouch, 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 ouch. And where are the Empire Knights? Is that these? Yeah, okay. Um, okay, this is starting to get really messy really fast, isn't it? Okay, we need to peel back with all of this stuff. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, I don't think my Wear King guy is going to do very well against the... Um, the Spearman. Okay, where's the Mammoth going? It's chasing those Outriders? Forget it. You're never going to catch them. Okay, we need to get out of here. Have we got the Empire Knights. Okay, let's uh, crush the knights with the mammoth. And how are we doing over here? Are we winning? Yeah, we're winning. And where's our sorcerer? There we go. We'll just cause terror everywhere we go. Okay, let's uh, let's bring these guys this way now. Throg is out there in the open. I'm gonna run down the knights, and let's see, we'll get the mammoth into the spears. We get our missile units on the outriders. Okay, now we're starting to kind of get a little bit more organized. We'll get these guys over here. Oh no, Throg can't catch the outriders. Let's see, everything over here crumbled, all right. And let's get all of our infantry units. Okay, there we go, we're good. Probably could have fought this a little bit cleaner, but you know what, it's okay. Okay, there we go, we are winning, and let's go ahead, debuff. debuff again okay those guys are all gonna break now because everything else is crushed all right okay a little bit messy and let's see how we do here so are we gonna end up sacking or are we gonna raise sack or raise I don't know Um, sacking is a little bit um, more tempting because I don't think we're going to get a lot of money. Um, well, sacking is more tempting because I think we need to replenish is why. And if we raise, we're going to lose that chance to start replenishing. So 
even though we're not going to get any money for it, we're going to sack in the hopes that we can uh, at least move a little bit further and get into like a raiding stance. Can't. Uh, maybe I should have raised it. Let's see. Well, you know what? Can we still do it this turn? Do nothing. All right. Forget it. We'll go into a force march. That way, if they attack us, we'll at least run really far. That's what we'll do. That will work. And, okay, we'll get that. And let's increase Throg's aura size. Okay. And what's going on over here? Let's see. Can we move this guy? He moved. We'll deploy him. We'll just let him sit tight. And we're going to go ahead and move this guy down. Um, we don't want to surprise these uh, Chaos Warriors. The Rebellion didn't attack him. Now let's just get way down there. Okay, and let's go crush this thing. All right. Okay, so with that uh, rank, that high level experience per turn thing, our, uh, our troops here are just getting lots of levels. Okay, and we're going to keep raiding. And we're going to get another rebellion next turn. Okay, so has everybody moved? Uh, Throg's got some movement left, but I don't really want to move him. So that's it. And, and if we can afford it on the next turn, uh, maybe we'll settle the Ice Drake Fjord. I don't know. I, I think now we've got Kislev spread thin because they sent their armies over here to deal with Throgs. So they may not actually have uh, much over here in the way of protection. So we might be able to come down here with Inger and, you know, very quickly sack a couple things here. Uh, Dieter Schaffin and Norden. We'll see. All right. This is going to be the last uh, AI turn for the episode. So we'll see where the AI leaves us. Okay, here come the dwarves. They're after Throg. And I think they went into an ambush stance. They got like three stacks. Okay. So... Mm. Uh, you know what? None of this really matters because we're not going to be uh, the, the episode is over. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and have a good afternoon.